guys, I'm Roxeteresa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my annual Sephora VIB Rouge haul. Now if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, basically Sephora has like a rewards program. If you like makeup a lot, you probably know, already know what I'm talking about, but basically they have like a point system and then occasionally, pretty much like every year, maybe twice a year, I'm not sure, I think once or twice a year, they have a VIB sale, so VIB members get 10% off, and then the VIB Rouge, which means you just spend way too much money, which I am VIB Rouge, get 15% off. So it's a really good chance to stock up on your favorite items, try out new items, and you are getting a good sale because makeup rarely goes on sale, so get it while it's hot people but I wanted to do a haul today because I literally just went to Sephora today but I wanted to get it you know up and at ya while the sale is still going on so that if you see anything you like or you know have any ideas of what you want to get with your discounts then you can do it right now when the sale is still going on okay and I got the big bag this time which is a little concerning oh! <laughs> so the first thing I got is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. Now, my friend Izzy re recommended this to me. She said it was like such an amazing foundation and apparently it's very, very lightweight. It's called the Water Foundation, so obviously they're going for something lightweight and very like blendable and stuff. I always love Tarte foundations, actually. Um, I really, really like the just the normal Amazonian clay one, I believe it's called. But this is what the packaging looks like. I mean, I'm just it's everything. But my friend was telling me that this is like it lasts so long and it's so lightweight it just feels like nothing basically and this is what it looks like. It blends in really really nicely actually. So yeah I'm excited to try that out and again packaging. Tarte always you know does itself justice. Then I also had to get the Aqua Sealer Concealer from the same collection, the Rainforest of the Sea collection from Tarte. Again, the packaging is just like, I literally just want to display this. It's so cute. It's very, very similar to the packaging of the foundation, obviously, because it's from the same collection. But I was intrigued by this because the whole concept of the line is very, you know, it has a very lightweight feel to it. So for concealer, especially under the eyes, that's perfect because you never want it to like crease or cake up there. So I'm excited to try that out as well. I did also get three lipsticks from Bite Beauty and I love the concept of Bite Beauty because it's all like natural food grade um, ingredients so when it's on your lips and stuff, you know, it's all good stuff here. So the shades that I got are Rhubarb, Pepper, and Honeycomb. Let me do some swatches because I know y'all like some swatches. It was so funny because when I was in the store, um, you know, swatching all the shades and everything, um, my whole hand was just filled with swatches. It was so crazy. But I actually, oh my gosh, I, I haven't even mentioned this on my main channel, but I started a vlog channel just dedicated to vlogs. So if you love my videos and you want to see more of me on a, you know, more daily basis, then you can definitely subscribe to my vlog channel. I'll link it here. It's just called Roxette Orisa Vlogs, original, I know. But um, I'll link it here and also down below, and you can always find it on my channel like I'll have it linked um, in the sidebar but yeah I literally um, I started a vlog channel and I vlogged the whole day so you can actually see me going to Sephora and shopping and picking out my items and stuff so if you're interested definitely subscribe to my vlog channel I'm gonna be vlogging pretty regularly now because I just got a new vlog camera so it's just I'm really a taking it to the next level there. Okay, so these are the swatches right here. This is honeycomb, that is pepper, and that is rhubarb. So, such beautiful shades. Like, I was obsessed right when I saw these. I especially love pepper. And, um, actually, I was looking at also the Estee Edit products that just recently launched. It's the ones with, like, Kendall Jenner and everything like that. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But when we swatched them, they were a really weird texture. So I was actually going to get some of them. I was going to get two lip liners and two lipsticks. But they just swatched so badly. Like the lip liners were very, very patchy and chalky for some reason. And then the lipsticks were like sticky and they weren't smooth. It was really weird. But point of this story being that these are like they swatch amazingly. I haven't tried them on on my lips yet but they swatch so well like it's so smooth it just goes on 
they smell kind of nice too, but they just, they're just beautiful formulations from what I can tell just from the swatches. So I'm really excited to try them out. Love the shades, especially Pepper, but all of them are really beautiful. Okay, so I know I just said that um, I wasn't very impressed with the products that I swatched from the Estee Edit in regards to the lip liners and the um, lipsticks, but this so impressed with. This is the Flash Illuminator from the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder. This is in the shade Morning Light. It's so beautiful. It's kind of a, it is a cream highlight or illuminator and I've, I've said this several times on my channel recently but I'm so into like luminous and glowy looks right now and this is just icing on the cake right here. That is what it looks like. So beautiful. I think this would be so beautiful for glowy summer looks with like bronze skin and just a hint of this on the cheekbones. You can also just, because it is um, like a liquidy formula, you can mix it in with your foundations and just give yourself an all over luminous glow. So I'm obsessed with this so far, well, from the swatches. We'll see how it wears and everything, but high hopes for this one. I also did pick up a few blushes. So um, I got two Tarte blushes, which I do have Tarte exposed, and I really, really like it. That's the only Tarte blush that I have though, so I wanted to kind of expand my collection, and I've just been hearing so many good things about Tarte blushes lately, so. This is the shade Celebrated. To me, it looks like um, kind of like a neutral peachy tone. I always have trouble kind of explaining um, blush shades and all that, but, oh, actually it kind of swatches more just like a light pink, but it's very, very pretty. The Tarte blushes in general, that's the swatch if you can see that, but the Tarte blushes in general are very, um, silky when they are applied and they last forever. Like, I've, I've noticed that with the Exposed, it literally lasts so long, like, something in this, the Amazonian clay or whatever they claim, it works, girl. The other one that I got is Tipsy. Now, I've heard so much about Tipsy, I don't know where, like, I just feel like every YouTuber has talked about Tipsy before, so I just think the name is like ingrained into my mind. But I normally would not go for a color like this. It's very, very bright and bold, and it's just not, you know, my normal kind of shade range. But I thought I would give it a try just because I've heard so many people talk about it. That's the pigment. I mean, yes, it's so pigmented, it's so beautiful. But it's kind of like a hot pink with a little bit of a coral undertone. But like I said, I've heard so many people talk about this and it does look like a really beautiful color for spring and summer makeup looks. So I thought I'd just give it a go. I mean, why not? With a 15% off, it kind of makes it worth it just to try out things that you've always wanted to try. Speaking of products that I wanted to try, this is NARS Luster Blush. I've wanted to try this for so long. This is much more um, up my alley, I guess, for blush shades. Like, this is more so what I would go for. It is a neutral tone, but it has a tint of orange to it, like a peachy orange, kind of like a burnt orange because it's a bit darker, but it's so beautiful. Let me swatch it for you guys because I'm obsessed with um, NARS blushes. I think that they make amazing blushes. Madly, NARS Madly is like my go-to right now. I use it every single day. It's so beautiful. This is um, NARS Luster. Like I said, it definitely does have that burnt orange tinge to it, but it looks really nice to me, so I'm excited to give this one a go. This is another product that I've had my eye on for forever, but I just never got around to trying it. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. This is what it looks like. You get six shades in it. You get three contouring shades and then a banana shade and two lighter shades, I guess for highlighting. I'm not really sure exactly. Possibly you could use this as concealer. I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on that, but I'll try it out I'll let you guys know how I like it and everything, but it seems like it's eh, I don't think you can use this as concealer. It's um, it's a pretty light Light cream if that makes sense like it's not a thick cream like this is lighter than the Anastasia Concealer the actual concealers the cr cream concealers that are on in like the little pot but nonetheless, I will figure out a way use those because I'm very excited for this contour palette. I've been wanting to try it for forever. Like I said, I'm very into like highlighted looks, very glowy, luminous skin, and also cream products for some reason right now. I don't know. I'm, it's a phase. I'm going through it, but I really, really am into cream products right now. And the last product that I have to show you guys is the Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer, which 
in fancy terms, it's a lip gloss. This is actually my first um, beauty product by Marc Jacobs. I've been hearing really good things about them. I definitely want to try the foundation because I've heard so much good, good things about it, but uh, that'll be for next time. <laughs> I got the shade Sugar Sugar, which I've heard so many good things about. Jaclyn Hill says it's her absolute favorite lip gloss of all time. So when I heard her say that, I was like, yeah, I'm going to need that. This is the swatch right there. It's actually a pretty opaque formula, which I love in lip glosses. It's not sheared out, so you can actually see like the color and the tone of it. And it's definitely going to add a little something something to any lip shade. I feel like this is just going to be a perfect nude gloss for some reason. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. Actually, um, I know... I don't know, I go through phases with lip shades and stuff and like lip formulas, but for spring and summer, I feel like gloss is going to be back. Like, matte lips remind me of fall and winter a lot, and I love me a matte lip, but for some reason, I just, I can feel it in my bones. Like, this year, glosses are going to make a comeback, because like, I feel like for the past few years, Brands have really been lacking in the gloss range just because everybody has been coming out with matte liquid lipsticks and matte lips and you know yada 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 and lip pencils and everything that's matte but I don't know why I just have a feeling that glosses are going to be making a comeback and I've recently been loving the look of like a really simple everyday makeup paired with a nice gloss so I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of this especially if I like the formula and how it wears during the day so yeah. That's it for my Sephora haul. I've gone through everything that I got. I did quickly want to mention that because it is the um, VIB sale, I did get this super cute little tote. It says, there's still some space left on my vanity, hashtag take me to Sephora. Which let's be real, there really isn't, like I'm gonna have to work on that. But the point is, this little tote is super cute. So if you are VIB Rouge, you get this free tote if you bring a friend. Actually, sorry, I think that was only for today. If I'm mistaken, I'm sorry. But I did go with a friend, so um, I got this little tote and it's so cute. So um, definitely take advantage of the VIB sale while it's here. It's not going to last long. I know, I think I was talking to my friend Maddie and I think VIB Rouge actually lasts longer than normal VIB. So if you are VIB, hurry up girl, go to Sephora now and go like, just just go crazy, it's that time of year. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and now you can also subscribe to my vlogging channel if you like vlogs and if you like me. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. I love each and every one of you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!